In this tutorial I'm going to show you some of the new features for RWD Cal 2.1.11. The main feature we're going to concentrate on is the ability to hide and uh, restore decals that are already placed in a route. This can be very useful uh, for allowing you to see what a route would look like without all the decals in place but uh, without having to actually delete them and then replace them back in the route which can take quite a long time. So before I show you this uh, new uh, option we're going to just quickly load up RW decal which I've got running here and this is a section of the Transpennine route which is a team project that uh, I'm working on with a number of other people and as you can see we've got an area here with no decals but quite a lot of detail being added on. If we move across in this direction a bit you can see that we've got some detail but we can still see the decals in the background if I move one of them for you here move closer so you can see you've got a decal there. Now if I want to see what this will look like without those decals present I could delete them or I can use RW decals to temporarily hide them from the game. To do this all we're going to do is, uh, is close down R that rail works and then run the tool in RW decal. So in RW decal load it up and from the file menu select hide decals. First thing you need to do is select the route, and I'm going to pick Transpennine from the list. RW decal will then go and search all the files, and it generates a cache and stores all the information it finds in the files about what decals you're using. Um, but if it's the first time you use this option on a route, then you'll have to wait whilst it generates the cache. You can see there that it did it for me very quickly because this is not the first time I've used this option on the Transpennine route. So what I'm actually going to do, just to make it easy, is I'm actually going to hide every single decal I'm using in this route just by ch clicking the check all button. As you can see there is a large number of decals used in this route, they're, they're used extensively at it, and it is a very large route. So we'll just click OK. And in a second or so. And there we go, as you can see. 3,547 decals have been hidden from, our, from the Railworks route. So I'm just going to pause the video briefly now whilst we load Railworks back up so that you can see the effect. Okay, so the route is loaded back up. As you can see, this was the area before that didn't have any decals in with the fence and the bridge there. If we fly over to here now, you can see there's no decals showing up here either. So all the decals have been hidden from the route and you can get an idea very quickly of what it looks like without all the decals covering up the ground. Now again we're just going to uh, we'll exit out of the route there but we'll leave Railworks running for the moment and then we're going to use RW decal to uh, restore those decals and make them visible again in the route. So again we'll just select Transpennine, wait a brief moment whilst it searches the route for decals, select them all and click OK. As you can see again, 3547 decals have been restored back into the route. So we'll minimise our RW decal, go back into Railworks, and we'll go back into the, uh, the same scenario we were just in. Select Play. And again, I'll just pause the video whilst it loads up the route. So we're back in Railworks again, and as you can see, all the decals are back in place, so I haven't had to do any work. Again, this is a section where the decals had already been removed because it's a complete section. And just a little bit further on, we have the decals just loading up now. Look, as you can see, um, that uh, showing them all back in place as they were before. Now, there's a number of other uh, features in this tutorial, um, uh, new features on RW decal that is worth going over. Uh, in this version you also have the ability to transfer decals from one developer folder to another. Um, if the decals are already placed in the root then those settings should be maintained and uh, you won't have to replace all the decals. You can also rename a decal again that's already been placed in a root. Uh, so if you create a decal with the wrong name rather than having to redo the whole thing from scratch you can just rename it. And you can also use the list use decals feature I will quickly show you this one. So again, I choose the Transpennine route and click OK. And RWD will quickly search that route for all the decals that have been used 
and then create a CSV and place that CSV on your desktop. And as you see there, it says it's created a CSV and placed it on Railworks Use Decals Transpennine.csv. So we'll just uh, minimise these folders down again. And it's actually put the, I have a two screens here, so it's put the folder on my second screen. So we open it up, and we can see there's my Transpennine CSV. We open that up in Excel. Here we go, it's loading now. As you can see, we've got a number of columns with various pieces of information in, telling you exactly uh, where the decal is used and what tile, whether it's a visible or hidden decal, uh, and things like that. That's the end of this tutorial, uh, just going over the new features that are uh, going to be available in version 2.1.11 of RW decal.